Hey everyone. So I am rushing because I have a nail appointment in 20 minutes. So I need to leave out the house in the next like 10 minutes. Pull my hair back because we're in that slick back phase right now. There's nothing else. There's nothing more I can do. So let me go throw something on real quick and then I'll see you guys at the nail salon. now so I went with a really like natural pink it's D&D's 889 I think that's the number I only know the number I don't know the name but I told my nail tech that I wanted just a really like my nails but better I wanted it to just be a nice light glossy natural pink color and I've come to the conclusion if I'm gonna do a dark nail it can't be gel it has to be regular polish because once my nails grow out and you can see the separation I'm over it at that point point. and my nails grow super fast and so within a week you can see like the new growth and I don't like that in combination with dark colored nails it just annoys me when I see it on myself so I decided to go light and natural and manicured for my nails for the next couple weeks and then I'll go back to a dark shade but it will be only regular polish because after a week I want to be able to take it off and start fresh I've been doing it for years and every time I get my nails painted dark I love it the first week and then after that I hate it so yeah i just wanted to just do a natural nail so this is a gel polish but i know once it grows out you won't be able to tell because it literally looks like my natural nail with just a gloss on it and i know it's not really showing up here on this camera but i love it it's such a nice pretty soft pink natural color so nails are done i wanted to come back because i did stop at target and i grabbed a few things first thing i got was this headband and little wristband set from the dollar spot and I did not go in to get this but I did see this and I thought it was cute so I got it it was only three dollars and yeah so got that and then I got these cute little Hermes Oran slipper dupes in this really nice like camel color now these come in several several different colors they have red they have a burgundy they have green they have cream they have black but I went with the camel because this is just more my aesthetic however I did like the red ones the red ones were super cute the burgundy ones were cute too so I wanted a pair of slippers that would match with all my pajama sets all my robes and look nice um, or even when I'm just in loungewear most of my loungewear is kind of like neutral so that's why I went with these they're so so cute and so cozy they look like little teddy bears but I just thought these were so cute and they were $15 I did get a size 8 I would say they run true true to size um, I did try them on while I was in there just to be safe because my store actually had all the sizes so I was like let me just try them on real quick and make sure I can fit them um, but I ended up getting the 8 I think they're so cute these will also make the perfect Christmas gift like how cute is this and it even comes with a little bow tag where you could put to and from so this will be a cute gift especially if you like paired it with like some other little like pajamas or like a robe or like loungewear like those are the types of gifts I like so yeah 
I guarantee you if you gift any one of your loved ones, friends, family members, whoever, a pair of these, they will love them. And for $15, I think that's a really good price. And they're so soft and cozy. You guys know I love house slippers with the toes out. That's just my personal favorite. So these were right up my alley. So I got those from Lassatin. They sent me some goodies in the mail, so I thought I would share it with you guys. Looks like there's something to enter. Complimentary journey to province. Oh, it's a entry to enter for a trip. I think I will enter for that. Why not? hand cream which I feel like I have like three of those already that have not opened yet and shower oil well you know I just purchased a 16 ounce shower oil during the Sephora savings event so I'll just put this one away and it'll be my backup that was everything that I got from Lassatin and if you guys want to see the hand cream here's the hand cream so I got this and this definitely going to enter to win okay it says next spring we can't wait to host one lucky winner from our creator community and their plus one for a complimentary journey to province to enter da -da 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 -da. Do, 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 do. cool so no maybe we'll be in province next spring <laughs> all right and last but certainly not least y'all when i opened this i screamed because i cannot believe what i got came in this massive box yeah ready because i was not Clarence sent me their skincare advent calendar, y'all. I had to check the name on a box because I was like, wait, there's no way they sent this to me. This next level, how cute is this? The cutest advent calendar I've ever seen. It is a little house, y'all. How cute. And then on the back, it shows you all the products. It doesn't tell you the days that you're gonna get the products on, but it does let you know everything that you're getting. So there's two lip oils in here, lots of facial skincare, stuff that I've never tried before, some stuff that I probably would have never tried. So I am excited, so excited for this. It says, celebrate the festive season with five beauty routines, carefully curated with our iconic skincare and makeup products. To offer you even more radiant results, 70 years of clearance, expertise, and innovation to get your holiday glow going. So this is another advent calendar. And I'm so excited. So freaking cute. Yes. So excited for that. They also included a sweet card. It says, Happy Holidays. Thank you for sharing your 2024 memories with us. We have literally hearted every post. Start the countdown to the holiday by opening a window of Clarence 24-day advent calendar every day in December to discover beauty surprises. We wish you the most magical time with your family and loved ones and can't wait to see you in the new year. Best, the team at Clarence. So I thought that was so sweet. So thank you, Clarence, for sending me this amazing, amazing advent calendar. I cannot wait to see all the goodies and try everything out. So I now have one, two, three, three advent calendars. Yeah, so I think I'm good. I think it's gonna be a wonderful holiday season and I cannot wait. Also wanted to share my 
updated skincare body care little setup here took all the stuff that I'm not using now so like all my like floral spring summer fragrances I put all those away I only have the fragrances out that I am using right now with the exception of some other ones that just couldn't fit up here all my skincare that I'm using all my body care that I'm using so here's what we've got um, really made some major changes up here from what it was still have my um, q-tips here this is my Dior cuticle cream Josie Marin products this is the face uh, butter that I'm wearing body butter been loving using this it's so nice um, most of the stuff you guys have seen um, but this is just like my everyday skincare products that I use have my fragrances here missing person ginger biscuit Dior and vanilla skin so that's that's everything on that top shelf and then down here I have my uh, Tatcha products, my Caudalie. These are my Dior cotton squares that I use for my toner. Tatcha lip mask. I've got my Byredo lotions and perfumes back here. Y'all, don't ask me why I'm still holding on to this drop of Mojave Ghost. I just can't get rid of it. I, I don't know. I just have to hold on to things. This is my LV fragrance. This is like an all year round fragrance for me. Uh, PK actually bought this for me and had my initials uh, engraved. This is an eye cream by Caudalie that I like. And then I just have my clean skin towels out here. I was keeping them in a little acrylic box, but it just takes up too much space on this counter. And I just like being able to kind of move this around when I need it to be out of my way, but also have it out when I need to use it. So I got that and these are like the little travel packs that I got a while ago. I'm still working through them. And then on this little tray here, I just have my watch. I just took my watch off. I don't know what this little spot is here, but I cannot get it out. Um, this is my L'Occitane hand cream that, that I put on every single night. And that is why it's out because I wear it every night. I'll see a body balm that is a nice moisturizer. I like to put this on in the evenings. It's nice and hydrating and it smells really good. Um, my Necessary Body Serum, that is a must my necessary neck serum I had to pull this back out because I have been forgetting to do this step in my skincare routine and so I want to have things out mainly so that I can remember to use them because if I keep things in drawers I won't use it because I'll forget about it so everything that is out here is stuff that I, I'm going to be using and having in heavy rotation got my salt and stone deodorant out this is my nighttime deodorant this is more my daytime deodorant I just like to sleep in the salt and stone so I have that and then this is a L'Occitane body cream that I have been really enjoying using it smells so good it really smells good um, in combination with the Osea body bomb these two together smell really really good and then I just have a little Summer Fridays, a little mini lip balm there. And here, I just have some extra lip balms and lip oils that I like to just use. And then these are my makeup brushes. So I just have those kind of there. And that's why I like these little candle jars because they're just, they're so good. You can just use them for so many different things. So. And I need to clean my brushes too, so I have to do that this week.
Thank you.